The second tip I give you guys is to renew your mind during your downtime. Now, most people, and I was around this circle growing up, most people during their downtime, at especially kind of low levels, you know, they'll tend to crap talk people during their downtime. They'll tend to get in circles where maybe there's a friend or a family member that's not present and the people that are in that circle with you, what they'll do is they'll talk about the people that aren't there and their shortcomings. And what that does is it creates not only distrust within the group, of people that are talking because when I hear someone talking bad about someone else, I know that for a fact when I'm not around and there was someone else, they're gonna be talking bad about me and you should think about it that way. That's literally how it works. Don't think that they're not talking about you behind your back if they're sharing information about someone else that's not present, but it wastes your time and what you could be doing with that time. You could be talking about great business ideas, great books you read, you could be networking, you could be talking about some ideas, some cool things that you've done and why you would recommend to do these things and inspiring other people and bringing positivity to that group. But instead, most people tend to crap talk. I find myself still doing this occasionally and I really try to focus on not doing that. I'm getting better at it, it's still a struggle because I'm so used to doing it growing up, but just try to limit the amount of crap talk and get away from people that do that because it just lowers the vibe, lowers the energy, and it completely drains you of what you could be talking about and the opportunity cost of this of what you could be talking about that day. And in addition to crap talking, most people also spend their time renewing or rejuvenating themselves during their time off by drinking alcohol and smoking or intaking cannabis, which if you study Dr. Amen and Dr. Huberman on YouTube, they'll tell you that alcohol especially and cannabis also, we're finding new research about, when you constantly consume these things, it messes up your prefrontal cortex and your ability to basically push through hard tasks. So the issue of marijuana comes up a lot. I have scanned thousands of people, tens of thousands maybe, of people who use marijuana. I published a study, virtually every area of the brain is lower in blood flow. Marijuana or alcohol, neither one are good for you. In our brain imaging study, we did a study where we evaluated 62,454 spec scans. And then we, we looked at how the brain ages. And then we looked at what accelerated aging. And both marijuana and alcohol accelerated aging. In that study, marijuana was worse. When you go through something and you're sober, you have to be present in the moment and address those issues and it actually challenges you and it, it helps grow your prefrontal cortex to overcome that same situation in the future because now you've built up that muscle memory. Your brain is literally a muscle. You have to work it uh, and use it in order to keep it growing and in order to actually stay positive and stay alive, we're finding out. When you burn through alcohol and cannabis, it destroys these neural networks inside your brain that are meant to help you have sustained focus, be able to communicate faster, be able to learn information faster, and actually rest your brain and go through a proper sleep cycle when you go to bed each night, because most of us don't when we consume alcohol. In fact, we actually barely sleep because our body is spending so much time recovering, filtering out the toxin because it's literally a poison through your bloodstream and you're actually not resting that much 